Hello. It is Monday at 7 p.m. So we are live in the Zen Gary kitchen. So it's me again, Linda, the founder of Fomagerie Zen Gary. I have a quick little fun recipe for you guys tonight. Hey Kelly, nice to see you. Thanks for joining in. So I know that we are looking forward to starting to entertain again. We have had a long two years and now we want to get back into party mode. And I don't blame anyone. Um, I've been a bit of a hermit over the past two years myself. Uh, so this one is great for party foods. Uh, so we're going to make a cheese fondue tonight. And believe it or not, you can make a plant-based cheese fondue with vegan cheese that is so delicious. Your guests are going to love it. So the trick that we uh, start with is our creamy Swiss Fomagerie Zangari cashew cheese. This one I used to, it used to be called our Gruyere actually. And a lot of people had trouble figuring out what Gruyere was. And Gruyere is typically the cheese that's used in cheese fondues. So this is the perfect one, it's the yellow package. And for tonight, I am going to make a half recipe there's only two of us eating tonight and I don't want to have a whole bunch of it left over. Um, but there is a recipe, there's actually three different recipes for cheese fondue on our website. Uh, we're having some trouble with Linktree today. I don't know if you guys have had that uh, experience, so we can't link anything in Linktree. But if you go to our website and you just uh, search on our recipe page fondue, you'll find three different cheese fondues. So there's the traditional cheese fondue, which is made with this creamy Swiss cheese. There's also one made with the smoky jalapeno. It's a little more caliente, if you like that. It's great for dipping um, some nacho chips or any kind of uh, pitas in there. And then there's another one that's made with our ale-aged fondue, our ale-aged cheese, and some beer. So that one's uh, really fun too. That makes a great sauce. So you, this is so easy. There's four main ingredients and then you can add some different flavorings if you like. So it's the cashew-based uh, Swiss cheese. And I have mine here and I have it cut into little wedges to make it melt just a little bit faster. I'm just gonna turn my burner on to medium high. So there's one wheel of cashew cheese. The full recipe calls for two. If you're serving a crowd, you'll probably want to do that. If you have two or three people, then you can just go ahead and half the recipe. So I'm gonna pour all that cheese into my pot. I got a thick bottom pot because I don't want it to burn. And then I'm gonna add half a cup of white wine. So you want a dry white wine. You can have anything that you have left over hanging around. And if you like it a little less strong, you can dilute it with some water or some vegetable broth, or if you don't have quite half a cup of wine, those are really great options. So you just pour that in. So that's half a cup of wine slash water. And then I'm just gonna mix, mix, mix while it melts down into a nice creamy sauce. So I don't know if you guys are aware, but uh, it is Reduce, National Reduce Waste Day, Awareness Day, I think that's what it's called. Anyways, it's, it's all about reducing food waste and I've come up with a bunch of tips uh, on that and you're gonna look out for those in our stories uh, coming up all this week. So in case you didn't know, uh, there's two really important ways that we can reduce our carbon footprint through food. The first one is obviously to reduce our consumption of meat and dairy. So this I'm just whisking around and the second is to reduce our food waste. 
And this is something that I struggled with quite a bit and I made it one of my New Year's resolutions to really focus on trying to be more mindful of the food that I waste. So this is now a nice creamy sauce, you can see that. And I might even add just a touch more liquid. There. And then the next little trick that we have, I'm gonna turn that down. To get that nice stretchy texture, we use arrowroot flour. So I have about a tablespoon of arrowroot flour in this little jar. And I'm gonna to add to it two tablespoons of water. And then I'll just put the lid on, shake it up a little bit, and pour it right in there. And then stir it, and it'll get a little thicker and stretchier. This isn't gonna take very long. Just whisk it up. Turn down the heat because the pot is already hot enough. And then you'll have this stretchy kind of ooey gooey cheese mixture. And you can add some flavorings if you like. If you want a traditional, um, a traditional kirsch in there, it's like a little liqueur, you can add that. I personally like to add a little bit of nutmeg. So I'm just gonna grate some of my nutmeg, whoops, lost it in there, right into that fondue, not too much, just a little bit, maybe like an eighth of a teaspoon. Mix that up. And then if you need to uh, thin it out with a little more water, you can do that. I'm gonna do that. I think I've added a little too much arrowroot here. Perfect. And then, one thing that I like to do, I don't, you could add garlic to this or spices if you really like. Uh, I just like to take a cut garlic clove and then rub it all over the inside of my fondue pot. So it gives it a little bit of a garlicky flavor without having, you know, the chunks of garlic in there. So I'm just gonna rub it all over there. Perfect. So it smells nice and garlicky. And then I'm gonna pour my cheese fondue mixture into the, my pot. It's a little big for this amount of cheese, but that's okay. I wanna get all of that stuff out of there. So really, that was about four ingredients in less than five minutes. And then you have this great cheese fondue to share and dip with. So there we go. It's a nice thick cheese fondue. And then you can have your little fork, do your dipping. And look at that. Mmm. Mm. Really great. Mm -hmm. It's going to have a great dinner tonight. So I'm going to serve this up with some chopped baguette. Um, asparagus is really good to serve to dip in your cheese fondue. Some roasted mushrooms, broccoli, cauliflower. Any kind of veggies that you like, actually, brus roasted Brussels sprouts are really, really good in your cheese fondue. So give that a try. You might want to add some white pepper in there. That gives it a nice flavor. Or my favorite, truffled salt. So if you want to skip the nutmeg and add the truffled salt, then you'll have a bit of a truffle flavor in there. Also really good. So don't forget to go hop on our website. If you're watching this on YouTube, we're going to post the link down below in the caption. And uh, that's it. So grab one of our creamy Swiss cashew cheeses. Make yourself a nice cheese fondue this weekend. Invite over all your friends. 
Hope you're gonna enjoy that. So I'll let you go today and we'll see you next Monday at 7 p.m. for another Live in the Zangiri Kitchen.